A tic is a sudden, rapid, recurrent, and non-rhythmic motor movement or vocalization. In this video, we'll take a look at three tic disorders. Tourette's disorder, persistent motor or vocal tic disorder, and provisional tic disorder. Tourette's syndrome is diagnosed when multiple motor and one or more vocal tics have been present at at least some point during the illness, though they don't necessarily have to happen concurrently. The tics may alter in frequency, but must persist for more than one year since the first tic onset for a diagnosis. The first tic onset must also occur before the age of 18, and typically occurs between the ages of 4 and 6. Finally, these disturbances cannot be attributable to the physiological effects of a substance, like cocaine, or another medical condition, such as Huntington's disease. The criteria to be diagnosed with persistent or chronic motor or vocal tic disorder is very similar to that of Tourette's, with the exception that the individual will experience single or multiple motor or vocal tics during their illness. However, they won't experience both motor and vocal tics. Finally, provisional tic disorder is when an individual experiences single or multiple motor and or vocal tics. In this case, the tics must have been present for less than one year since the first tic onset, and the first tic onset must be before the age of 18 years old. Again, these disturbances cannot be attributable to other physiological substances or another medical condition. Tic disorders are hierarchical in order, with Tourette's being the most severe. This means that once a tic disorder is diagnosed at one level of the hierarchy, a lower hierarchy diagnosis cannot be made. Tics are generally involuntary, but can be voluntarily suppressed for varying lengths of time. Tics can be either simple or complex. Simple tics are very short in duration, milliseconds. Simple motor tics might include eye blinking, shoulder shrugging, and extension of the extremities. Simple vocal tics might include clearing of the throat, sniffing, and grunting. Complex motor tics are longer in duration. They can last seconds and often include a combination of simple tics. For example, simultaneous head turning and shoulder shrugging. Complex tics can appear purposeful, such as a tic-like sexual or obscene gesture known as copropaxia, or a tic-like imitation of someone else's movements or gestures known as echopraxia. Similarly, complex vocal tics include repeating one's own words or sounds, known as palilalia, repeating their last heard word or phrase, echolalia, or uttering socially unacceptable words, coprolalia. Tics are worsened by anxiety, excitement, and exhaustion, and are better during calm and focused tasks. For example, a student may experience fewer tics when engaged in schoolwork compared to a more exciting or stressful task like writing a test. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.